School board members can be powerful. Remember during the pandemic when they made decisions for their districts and at times faced harsh criticism. Now we're getting a look at the candidates running for Ohio's Board of Education. Springfield High School invited both candidates. Michael Sandlin was there for what was supposed to be a conversation and maybe a debate. He joins us live in studio, but Michael, only one candidate showed up. Yeah, that's right, Mel. Teacher and Republican candidate Sarah McGurvey's campaign emailed Springfield schools earlier this week, letting them know that they couldn't make it. And while the event might have just bound to, it been down to one state senator, Teresa Fetter, it still gave local school leaders a chance to ask questions about fixes and changes to education here in the Buckeye State. And those that I talked to say that they walked away pleased. In Sarah McGurvey's place sits an empty chair and a placard. But the moderators focus on the candidates who were there. Questions to Senator Fetter focused on how she would handle different challenges Ohio schools are currently facing. Mental health issues are becoming a barrier for, for many students and impeding achievement. What role should the state board uh, take in assisting school districts and students? So we need to get back to evaluating, I think, the health care coverage for our families, but the mental health coverage, and then where can we fill in those gaps? The audience consisted of superintendents and school leaders from across the area who say the next state school board member could have serious effects on Ohio's education system in the coming years. Um, Senator, where do you stand on topics like CRT, the 1619 Project, Drag Queen, Story Hours? Critical Race Theory is a Washington, D.C. extreme volume. However, there was one issue from local superintendents that seemed to trump all the others. I think making sure that schools are funded adequately. Fair school funding, fair school funding, fair school funding. They say that current public school funding through taxes is oftentimes leaving them empty handed. But Fetter's answers give them hope that that could change. The fact that she's willing to continue to try to make that better is huge. She's championed public schools. I think she would represent us well on the state board. Senator Fetter says she's disappointed she wasn't able to have a discussion with her opponent. But she hopes she was able to effectively convey her goals, increase programming, better funding, and avoiding extremist rhetoric from left or right. Teachers need the tools to teach. Children need the tools to learn, and parents need the certainty that we're not going to have these culture wars in our classroom. And some district leaders that I talked to have one more message for viewers tonight, telling me that this is a section of the ballot that often goes ignored. They implore that regardless of what side you stand on, do a little research on the topic before you vote on November 8th, because it will help steer the fate of Ohio's education system for years to come. Reporting in studio, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.